This is Here For You with 6 News at 5. Science fiction is one step closer to reality tonight as the Energy Department announces a breakthrough in the decades-long quest for nuclear fusion. It's our top story at 5. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Thompson. For the first time, scientists have produced more energy in a fusion reaction than was used to ignite it. Fusion is the energy that powers the sun and stars. It works by pressing hydrogen atoms into each other with so much force that they make helium and release enormous amounts of energy and heat. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm and other officials say this breakthrough will pave the way for advancements in national defense and the future of clean energy. And one MSU expert says this development could launch a whole new era for clean energy. McCoy Scribner is here for you now with what this could mean for our sources of energy. McCoy? Lauren, a professor from MSU, tells me this was the result of 60 years of hard work, but there's still work to do. It could be another 20 years before fusion is used to power our world. This could mean renewable energy that doesn't rely on fossil fuels, which contribute to climate change, or non-reliable sources like wind and solar power. He says this is the first time we've been able to generate the same process that the sun does in releasing energy here on Earth. He also says with this announcement, it's an exciting time to be involved with fusion energy. In a future where we have fusion energy, it's a clean energy source, it's a renewable energy source. If done correctly, it could be an inexpensive energy source. And so this is a step in moving in that direction. Despite the energy gained through the achievement, for fusion to be possible in the future, it needs to produce significantly more power and for a much longer duration. Back to you. Thanks, McCoy. Well, speaking of energy, the Michigan Department of Technology, Management, and Budget got a $110,000 energy rebate from Consumers Energy today. That rebate was earned as a result of a project to install smart lighting controls and convert the state's general services building lighting to more efficient LED lights. Officials say projects like this can lead to big savings. We had a great opportunity here to invest in this technology for our warehouse space. You know, putting in this great technology as far as the lights will dim when people are not here, when there's activity, they turn right on. We were able to reduce the total number of our lights in the warehouse as well. So we're seeing a great reduction in our operating costs, a great opportunity for us to put uh, energy efficiencies in place. The improved smart lighting design uses about 70% less energy than old technology and will lead to an estimated $77,000 in annual savings.